Today I'm going to be comparing a $30 Spider-Man suit with the $200 Spider-Man suit. Let's get straight into it. So this is the $30 Spider-Man suit right here. It was $30 from AliExpress. Uh, the reason I'm saying dollars is because the majority of my audience is indeed American. Um, but I actually put all these marks on it myself to make it look like it had been through a battle, the way Peter's suit looks at the end of Far From Home. Um, so yeah, if you purchase one of these, it's not gonna come like this, don't you worry. But I've also puff painted this suit, so that's why there's a lot of texture on it. And there's also a 3D logo, which I added with foam. And some parts have 3D like leather straps that aren't made of leather. They look really bad. I did that. That they didn't come like that. So this suit has a straight back zip, not a U-shaped zip, and it also has forearm zips. However, it did not come with those. I had to add those in myself. So if you plan to purchase this suit, you will not get forearm zippers in it. This suit has no soles or anything, just uh, normal feet on it because when you're buying a spandex suit from like AliExpress or eBay or Amazon, you can't get shoes with it because it's cheap. This right here is the mask that I got with the suit. As you can see, it has bad uh, plastic lenses. And I also uh, did all that myself. They did not come looking like that because I wanted it to look battle damaged. But it's a plain normal zip mask, um, spandex mask with plastic lenses that are not fog free, so yeah. Yeah, so that's the $30 Spider-Man suit. Now let's move on to the $200 Spider-Man suit. So this bad boy right here is the $200 Spider-Man homecoming suit. As you can see, it is made from a very stretchy, durable spandex. It has a 3D logo, leather straps all around the suit, and the suit also has Kung Fu shoes. So I got this suit from Heroes Time and the main reason it cost $200 is because I got 30, $30 leather straps, a 3D logo which was about $10 and the shoes which were also about $30. The suit itself without all of those cost around $90. I also bought forearm zips with this suit, I did not have to add them on myself. And I got calf zips on the suit so it makes it easier to access the shoes. I got no lenses on the mask and I paid an extra $2 for open eye holes because I have a face shell. I would definitely recommend getting this suit and not the one from AliExpress as this suit is very good material and it has never ripped on me or anything. The spandex material in the suit is also very shiny and it gives it a movie like look. So yeah, if you're planning on purchasing a homecoming Spider-Man suit, I definitely recommend you buy one from Heroes Time rather than AliExpress, Amazon or eBay, as when you're buying from Heroes Time, it's more likely to be better quality and more movie accurate, unlike if you're buying from Amazon or AliExpress or wherever, as sometimes they just aren't great quality. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, I'll see you guys in the next one.